we've made it to Cosmo. Yesterday was a day at sea, and now we're here. And we decided to try out room service to see if it would be different with the new protocols. Um, but it was pretty much the same thing. He just couldn't come into our room. Yeah, and that's it. So he just handed us the stuff. And then we're like, oh, well, let's eat it outside, Whoopsie. you know, on our balcony. And it's still dark. <laughs> but we have a lovely spread. So we'll be eating it inside. Brian doesn't have any apple juice because he's a man. And now men I, don't need apple Now I regret not getting one. You dummy. Okay, it's bright enough that we can see Cozy Mel. And then we're docked. Oh, and... By the way, we're saying Cozy Mel as a joke because... We watched this one video of this kid. He's probably like 14. And he just kept saying like, Cozy Mel, Cozy Mel, Cozy Mel. Pretty sure it's Cozumel. Yeah? Of course it's Cozumel. And so, but today, today it's Cozy Mel. And it's very cozy here. We're about to head off the ship. Um, but we stopped at Cafe Promenade for some snacks after our group service breakfast. Because we haven't had enough food today. And someone's dressed as if they're on an Alaskan cruise. You know, the AC is cold. Bring a sweatshirt. We are now getting off the ship here at Cozumel, and we do actually have to wear a mask getting off the ship and in the city, I guess. So we're getting off right now so that we can go to the end of the dock so that we can meet up with our group for a shore excursion, which is going to be Captain Your Own Speedboat here in Cozumel. The excursion we're doing is an official Royal Caribbean excursion, by the way. So they have these signs here with all the excursions. I'm actually not sure if only Royal excursions are allowed, if you can do anything you want. I think you can do anything you want. I think yeah. they changed that kind of last minute. Yeah, I think so. But I found a sign for our excursion. So our excursion put us in a taxi. We have about a 15, 20, 25 minute drive over to like the main area. And then we'll be doing our excursion. Okay, we got all of our gear. It's a lot of stuff. It is. Not sure when we can take our mask off. <laughs> yeah, and it's cloudy and like no one's here, so it's kind of weird. Yeah, it's very cloudy today. Our driver extraordinaire. We. Okay, good luck. Yeah, we saw yellow stingray, or the angelfish, a blowfish. Yeah. The current is strong. It's crazy. I think you have to be a strong swimmer. Yeah. It was tiring. Yeah. Now we're getting back on the boat. Now we're off from the snorkeling part, back to the beach. During parts of the speedboat ride, waves made it a little bumpy. But don't worry, we played it cool. So we headed back in a taxi, back to the pier, and now we're getting back on the ship after our excursion. And I thought that the boat portion and the snorkel portion of the excursion was fantastic. I think because of the weather and because of COVID, then there were so much less people than usual that the beach part of the excursion wasn't that great, but everything else was fantastic. 
it was a little awkward at the beach because after the speedboats, we went back to like their beach and they were trying to sell us like drinks and stuff, which of we course, want drink. yeah. But um, we were the only people there besides like two one other, other people, yeah, maybe two, like one other couple, yeah. and so it was just very awkward. And they were like, "Have some guacamole," and we can't. We can't have. We're allergic, we're allergic to avocado. We both are, and so it's like, yeah, it's really awkward. We're we like, don't we drink. We can't eat your guacamole. I'm so sorry, but we did tip them. Okay, now we are heading up to the Windjammer for lunch, which is crazy because this is only the second time the first we've time. Sorry. we've gone to the Windjammer for lunch. Buffet food never looks good on camera, but this is what we got. This looks good though. This looks good on camera. Yeah, it does. But. Um, someone got bit by a fish on our snorkeling adventure. I think I think I just got a jellyfish sting, but we have to go check if they're gonna have to amputate my arm or not. Does it hurt right now? Not really. It did kind of when we were sitting, like on at the pool, at the excursion place. Okay, so maybe we'll go down to the thing to the medical center and see if they have anything to like for you to put on it. Yeah, that'd be good. We are currently rushing to get to the helipad because we are about to leave Cosimo and we wanted to stand there as we depart. We made it just in time. We are not alone. Just a few people up here. Here we are. Some people had the same idea we did. Adios, Cosimo. Now we're turning around. Like, just like I predicted we would. Mm. And now your pants are getting wet. No, not the pants. We are now leaving Cozumel and tomorrow is a day at sea. But after that, we will eventually get to Grand Bahama. And they told us that tonight there's gonna be a five foot wave. Which really isn't that tall, I don't think. It's one carry tall. Let's see your jellyfish oh, sting. Oh, look at this. So I think you decided it's not bad enough to go to the doctor. Yeah, it's really not. I'm fine. And it does it hurt? hurt. No, no, it doesn't. Okay. Well, that's it's good, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's good. It's a shame. <laughs> when it first happened, it really hurt. What happened? I was swimming, and you know how you sort of do one of these? When wait, you wait, 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 wait. Do that again? Do that okay. motion again? One of these? What's this? Oh, that's my flow rider uh, pain. It's not a giraffe. No, it's, a, it's my giraffe print, but caused by the flow rider. And then this pinky got injured on our excursion today, too. So really, this whole arm, we're probably going <laughs> to amputate because it's just done it's, now. So I went anyway, like this. Like that. Okay. And then all of a sudden, it just hurt. I didn't see a jellyfish or anything, which is why I'm confused. But it's weird that it's all the way around your yeah, wrist. Yeah, kind of here, and then it's also like here. I don't know. That's weird. I'm probably dying. So there's Cosimo. Cosimo. <laughs> so there's Cosimo. And over there is like the ferry where you can get on. And then now to our left is the mainland. And That's we've Mexico. heard we've heard the ferry is really intense and like everyone gets seasick. So we probably won't ever do that. I don't think that's for me because I get seasick. How do you feel knowing that the captain is probably looking at you right now? I feel like he's probably thinking, wow, that girl has great pants on. Yeah, probably. We are now heading to dinner. We are doing Giovanni's, which is a specialty restaurant. We're doing that for the first time. It's Italian food. Giovanni's table. They have a scooter. Oh, are we in Italy? Get on a scooter. Get on the scooter. The deer. Get on the scooter. Okay. No. Got my cool pants on. Deer, hit the accelerator. I don't think they want me to do that. Deer, honk the horn. Beep, beep. I like the inside of this much better than chops. It's very pretty. And it has a window. Bueno, Sarah from Giovanni's table. I have the spaghetti bolognese. And Brian has the branzino. Oh, yeah, look how pretty this couch is. My goodness. Yeah, he's a little shorty right now. Heading back to our room after dinner. That was the greatest meal that we've had on board so far. It was delicious. Yes. And so now it's time for the Gus reveal. <gasps> Gus reveal. Okay. 
what will it be? Wait, wait, wait. Make your guess. Oh, um, oh my gosh. Um. A sombrero because we were in Cosmo. Oh my gosh. A taco. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh it's even oh. better. <laughs> it's like a bulldog, right? Who is he? He's Gus. And we got a compass gun. And yes, there is a burrito on her bed, but don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. That doesn't come with the room, though. It's just a blanket. Yeah, it doesn't come with the room. Okay, the duck we hid here the other night. He's it's gone. gone. He's gone. Sure this is where it, was? it was right in there. Okay, it's gone. it's gone. All the ducks are going away. Where are they going? A quackcation, which is a vacation, but with quacks. Well, we are now heading to the show. We think it's some sort of comedian that also juggles. So essentially a clown. The show is at 10.30, which... Past my bedtime. It seems kind of late. 10.30? We might just be wimps. Yeah, maybe we are. I don't care what you think, I've been doing this a long time. Folks, I've been a headliner on chips for the last 50 pounds. <laughs> Bill did a great job of juggling and telling jokes, but it is past my bedtime, so it's time for us to go night-night. <laughs>